The chemistry behind automobile engines. How chemical explosions are happening under your hood and what they have to do with chemistry. Today we will discuss what is happening before the explosion. What leads to the explosion? The chemistry happening during the explosion. How the explosions power a car. Internal combustion engines are machines performing chemistry. Under the hood of your car, there are many chemical explosions powering the car. Let's see how the internal combustion engine works. The gas tank stores the needed fuel for the explosion. A fuel pump pumps the gasoline out of the tank into fuel lines. The fuel lines transport the gas to a fuel filter. Once the fuel is filtered, it goes in the fuel injector, which sprays gasoline into the intake. At the same time air is being sucked in through the air filter and is mixed in the intake with the fuel to an explosive mixture. This air-fuel mixture enters the combustion chamber through the intake valve. The combustion chamber is where the explosion takes place. In the diagram, we can see that the intake valve can open and close to let gas into the combustion chamber. In the combustion chamber, there is the piston, which moves up and down to control the explosions and power the car. Step 1 is intake. The piston is moving down, and the inlet valve is open to let gas and air in. Step 2 is compression. As the inlet valve closes, and the piston moves back up, compressing the air and fuel mixture, pressure is building up, which is creating heat. Heat equals energy. While the piston is moving, the crankshaft is also moving, which is moving the wheels through a transmission. As the piston moves up, the spark plug sends up an electric spark, which ignites the mixture, causing an explosion. The explosion creates mechanical energy, which is pushing the piston back down. After the explosion, the particles are let out of the exhaust valve. The piston turns back up. Since all the pistons are connected to the crankshaft, they are continuously moving with each other. The pistons are aligned in a way that some are up, while others are down. The pistons move up and down in the engine block, while the intake and exhaust valves are located in the cylinder head. Now let's look at the chemistry involved in this process. Exothermic reactions release heat. Combustion reactions are reactions that involve with oxygen and releasing energy. When the spark was set off and the explosion occurred, energy in the form of heat was released. Oxygen was also in the mixture, thus contributing to the explosion. This process is also a redox reaction. Redox reactions are reactions that transfer electrons. Electrons were moved around giving us the final product, which were the leftover fumes. The gas was heating up, thus causing the gas molecules to move faster. Due to the fast movement of molecules colliding into each other and the fact that the piston was moving up closing the area, pressure was building up. Once this pressure was ignited, energy was exerted, providing power. This pushed the piston back down. We must be careful to keep gas and oxygen away from fire, electricity, and pressure. If these explosions do not play out effectively, the car will drive poorly. Without chemistry, we would not have gas-powered cars.